It was an all VLOX affair on Saturday, February 21st, as Burnaby Lake RFC fell to the Valhallans by a score of 29-7. to It was a difficult battle for last place Burnaby as they crossed the Georgia Strait to face off against a third place VLOX side that continues to assert themselves as a contender for this year's title. VLOX would continue to find their rhythm through fluid passes, strong backline moves, and a relentless forward pack that refused to let Burnaby on the score sheet for much of the game. The Valhallans scored the first four tries in the opening half. Pita Sevea would notch two tries, while Nick Blevins and Bryn Keyes would also touch down for five points apiece. After dominating the breakdown and piling on the pressure at the half, VLUX slowed down in the second half and would only go over for one more try to bring the score to 29-0. Burnaby would get on the score sheet after pounding the VLUX defensive line for several phases as prop Adam Dowie barreled through for their only try of the match. The score would remain 29-7. Much of the talk on the sidelines surrounded the back line's ability to move the ball quickly, thanks to precise passing by VLUX scrum half James Buchanan. Here's what Buchanan had to say about his side's fourth win of the season, and how their focus and determination puts them in prime spot to upset the UVic Vikes in next week's battle with Gordon Hay. Bonus point win, like every single week, we're out there to win, and uh, I think this week is, is as best a chance to, to take them as there's going to be, having a lot of players away for sevens and whatnot, and, you know, we got a pretty strong squad, so, you know, I think uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to the favorites into this next week. I think all around, pretty talented squad. I think our back line probably be our best strength the, the time being. Like right now, we're scoring points, we're moving the ball around and, and playing some pretty exciting rugby. And I think we've always always had a good squad and always been kind of a, an underrated team in the competition, so it's nice to hopefully start getting a little recognition. It's been a tough run for Burnaby Lake RFC, and hooker Russell Meidinger says his side will press on playing their style of rugby in search of the first win of the season. First half, well, we just really weren't there. Second half, it just took us a little more fire underneath us to get us going. We had to really get fired up, and then we came back on the second half, and it was just a tough game all in all today. First part of the season went pretty well. So far, we haven't been uh, doing what we really want to do. Uh, we play more of a blue-collar type rugby, you know, uh, not so much flash and dash, but we, we like to really show teams that we're out to play. We're not just out for you guys, for them to like roll over us. So our ideal is just to go out, play our game, and make our sticks. In other CDI Premier League news, Bayside Sharks upset James Bay by a score of 39-11. to The Castaway Wanderers edged past UBC Old Boys 31-29. to Mariloma stormed past the couch and piggies with a score of 56 to 15, and Capilano sunk the Vancouver Rowers 31 to 15. In Victoria, Andrew Smith reporting.